So the first thing you need to do is to unscrew the handles from the drawers. Next, sand out all the outside surfaces with sanding paper. For this, we use 80 grit size sanding paper. This step will ensure that you remove any varnish or old paint from the surface of the wood. This is essential for allowing the glue and paint we we'll use in the next steps to stick to the wood. While you're sanding, have some fun and try out some twist style dance moves. After using 80 grit size sanding paper, we quickly go over the surfaces again with 180 grit size sanding paper to make sure we have a nice smooth surface. Step, you would glue the pre cut decoupage paper. After the paper is stuck on, apply glue on top of the paper and spread evenly so that the paper absorbs the glue. using a kitchen paper towel. Instead of cutting the paper, we simply stuck the paper to the raised surfaces, waited for the glue to dry, and set it down the unstuck edges. For 
all of this, either use your ninja skills to perform kagebunshi no tsutsu or call your friends. Since we want the drawers to be in a light colour, we first painted the wood using white acrylic paint. While you are painting, apply brush strokes along the grain of the wood. First layer of paint is dry, we smooth down the painted surface using 180 grit sanding paper. Sanding, clean the surface of the wood to remove the dust. Apply the second coat of paint, and if you want, you can sand down the surface another time to make it smoother. Apply the final colour, and in our case we chose vintage green. Apply as many layers as you need to get the desired colour, and if you want the surface to be smoother, then sand down and clean between each of those layers. Now we scrape the furniture to reveal the underlying layers of paint and wood. We do this more at the edges of the chest of drawers where we expect the wear and tear to be the greatest. For this you can use a variety of grid size sanding paper. For our chest of drawers we use 80 and 120 grid size sanding paper. If you want, you can use vintage varnishes, waxes or oils on the uncovered wood parts. For us, we use the simple copper coloured acrylic spray paint. Yay! Last round of sanding! 
For the last round of sanding, we use a 240 grit size sanding paper for a smooth finish. For the final step, apply a clear varnish. You can get both matte and gloss versions. For us, we chose a matte version. Wait, there's one more step! For the final, final step, put the handles back on. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to this channel. Please tell us what you think about this video in the comments below. Happy DIY decoupage!